Hello students and hello teachers and welcome to my science online class. Our topic for today is X-rays under electromagnetic waves. This presentation is powered by TLSAU Farm, flexible alternative remote modality of learning. X-rays are types of electromagnetic radiation probably most well known for their ability to see through a person's skin and reveal images of the bones beneath it. So if we look on our electromagnetic spectrum chart, as you can see, X-rays is located in between electroviolet, I'm sorry, uh, ultraviolet rays and gamma rays. Advances in technology have led to more powerful and focused X-ray beams, as well as ever greater applications of these light waves from imaging 10 C biological cells and structural components of materials like cement to killing cancer cells. The discoverer of X-rays is Wilhelm Conrad Rowentgen in 1895. He, al he is also a professor from Würzburg University in Germany. According to the Non-Destructive Resource Center's History of Free Geography, Rowan Jen noticed crystals near a high-voltage cathode ray tube exhibiting a fluorescent glow even when he shielded them with dark paper. Some form of energy was being produced by the tube that was penetrating the paper and causing the crystals to glow. Rowan Jen called the unknown energy X radiation. Experiments shown, I'm sorry, experiments showed that this radiation could penetrate soft tissues but not bone and would produce shadow images on photographic plates. So as you can see in this, in this uh, picture, so this is the very first X-ray film or the very first X-ray image which is being performed by the discoverer William Conrad Prowitche. For, his, for this discovery, Rowan Chen was awarded the very first Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901. In terms of application, CT scan or computer tomography is a medical imaging pro procedure that uses computer processed combinations of many X-ray measurements taken from different angles to produce cross-sectional images of specific areas of a scanned object, allowing the user to see inside the object without cutting. Okay, while the common X-ray film has uh, already in our medical field for a very long time, X-ray beams pass through your body and they are absorbed in different amounts depending on the density of the material they pass through. Dense materials such as bone and metal showed up as white on x-rays. The air in your lungs showed up as a black. Fat and muscle appear as shades of gray. For some types of x-ray tests, a con contrast medium such as iodine or barium is introduced into your body to provide greater detail on the images. In addition, in radio waves, MRI or magnetic resonance imaging is a scan used for a medical imaging procedure. It is used as a magnetic field and radio waves to take pictures inside your body and it is especially helpful to collect pictures of soft tissue such as organs and muscles that don't show up on the x-ray examinations. And so x-rays are so important uh, discovery. Uh, since then. Thank you for listening and have a great day. This presentation is brought to you by DLSAU Park.